Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can insert content from Articulate Storyline into LearnDash. Now, for those who aren't familiar, Articulate Storyline is what's called an authoring tool, and it's used to create modules of engaging online learning in formats like this. And you can create some really interesting interactive activities. And what it does is package these up into what's called a SCORM file. And that SCORM file can then be dropped onto different learning management systems, be it LearnDash, Moodle, Brightspace. You know, it's a, a portable format that can be used across lots of different um, platforms. Now, by default, LearnDash doesn't have a way to bring in SCORM files but it can be made to do so via other plugins. And one of the most popular plugins to do that is this one called Tincanny. And, um, you know, it's, it's been around a very long time and it, it works really well. And what we're going to do is show you how you can use this to insert content from Storyline into LearnDash. So we'll put a link, link to this in the video uh, description. So check this out if you are looking to add uh, storyline content into LearnDash. So once you purchase that plugin, Tincanny, what you would do is head to Plugins and then Add New Plugin. And then we're going to upload it and you will receive a zip file um, you know, for, uh, containing the plugin and that's what you will install. Once it's installed, we can activate it. And here's where you would enter your license key. Um, I'm not going to enter one here. I'm just dem demonstrating it for now. But obviously, if you have purchased this, then that's where you'd enter it. And that's where you would get um, plugin updates and support if you've, if you've entered that. What we're going to do is just take a quick look at some of the reports and settings. So alongside being able to import SCORM files, it, it actually has a very... Um, robust reporting feature does Tincanny. You know, it's got uh, probably more detail than LearnDash has or ProPanel has. It's a, a very detailed um, reporting suite as well as the ability to add SCORM. But under settings, there's quite a lot of different settings, you know, controlling how SCORM files are displayed, uh, how they're stored, and whether or not to capture tin can data, which is um, sort of XAPI statements that come from SCORM files. And you know, these are little things that are captured behind the scenes. Um, so we'll show you that shortly. Um, and you can show how um, mark complete buttons are, are shown. So in LearnDash, you have the mark complete, complete button at the end of topics and lessons. And what you can do is if there is a SCORM file on there, disable that mark complete until that SCORM has been completed because it's a, an individual piece of content on its own. So you might want to prevent people from marking the whole topic as complete until the actual module is complete. And a few other settings here, you know, things around how light boxes are shown and options to reset data. But let's get stuck in and actually add some content. So we can go to manage content here and then click upload content and from here, we can you know, find our file. And I've got one here on the desktop, just a Storyline 360 example file. And this is just going to upload now. So once it's installed, we can see that uh, it was created using Storyline. It has its own content name. And we can do things like preview and uh, replace this if you want to. So let's just have a quick look at how this previews. I'm going to click on this here. We can see it loading. And, you know, it's a fairly uh, generic SCORM file here. But um, we can see that you can uh, click through it and, uh, you know, complete the, the content on it. And it has, you know, things like quizzes in there and... Um, you know, you can get to the end and exit the course. So what we're going to do now is insert that into our content. So I'm going to go to a course here. So I've got a course in the platform here called Healthy Eating for Healthy Life. 
And I'm just going to go to the lesson I want this to appear on. And I'm going to edit the lesson. And I'm using Gutenberg here, so I can add blocks. But if you are using you know, um, the classic editor or a different one, then you have things like short codes that you can add in. And I think it adds a, an icon to the um, interface to add tin canny content. I can see it's here, but if you search for tin can, you can see different things that you can add to the page. So notice that you can add tin canny content, which is the SCORM files, but you can also add some of the reports. So if you want to create front end reports that you can show to other people without them being able to see the admin dashboard, then that's available too. I'm going to choose tin canny content here. And you know, if we did want to upload something from scratch, we could have done that here, but I'm going to select from library and find this SCORM file that we had here. And that is now added. And what it does is it creates this button here, um, but it, there is some options on the right hand side here. So you can, you can embed it as a iframe onto the page if you wanted to, or make it open in a new tab from a link. Lightbox is often the, the way you see things added here. And there are a few other options here, like ways to, to style the button, you know, make it a big button and change the um, title of the button as well. So let's call that start module. And then I'm going to click update. And now if I view the lesson, we've got this button here, start module. And we can see that it's opening the SCORM file here. It's knows where I, I left off last time when I was previewing it. So, you know, we can start from there, but equally we can start from the beginning again. And we can go through the whole course here again and just get to the end of this. You know, do the multiple choice questions. And we'll get to the end. And then we can either you know, re review, print, and retry. These are things that come with the, uh, um, the SCORM itself. And then when we're done, we can cross this off and we've completed that SCORM. So that is SCORM added to a Learn Dash course. And one of the things I mentioned earlier was that TinCanny uh, captures what are called tin can statements behind the scenes. And these are little things that SCORM files can um, capture as they're going through. So I'll just show you that quickly. If we go to TinCanny reporting, obviously we have the user report where we can see you know, people completing and things like that. But it's this tin can report that I wanted to show you here. And if we switch between um, you know, the courses and show the SCORM that we just had there, we can search and see what people have been doing on that SCORM. And this really breaks things down into different things that they're doing. We can see every page of the SCORM that they go through, and we can see the quizzes that they did and what score they got on those. So this is capturing a lot of data behind the scenes of people going through those SCORM files. So I hope you find that useful. As I mentioned previously, we'll add a, a link to this in the description of the video, but I um, hope that useful for anyone who is using Articulate Storyline. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.